Yo, what it do YouTube, it's me, Can't Stop a uh, Money, and we are back inside the Hyper Product Reaction Chamber, and this is another reaction to ReZero. Yes guys, this is ReZero Season 2, Episode 4, if you want to put it all together, Episode 29. Alright, so, first things first, I know you guys are looking at this video and be like, what the fuck? Well, probably so, if you can probably tell the difference. But, uh, quick little, quick little story, last night. Last night, as I went to go check, yeah, out of out of nowhere, yes, uh, my camera had then then died on me, piece of shit. But uh, camera had died on me, and I'm so right now I'm using my backup camera right now, my back my 720p camera that I haven't used in years. But uh, yeah, yeah, here we are. So you know, because I had to kind of bring y'all ReZero today. But yeah, this is just gonna be for a couple of days until my new camera gets into the and comes into the mail, and y'all know. So yeah, that's why it looks like this. Hopefully, it doesn't look too bad. But uh, yeah. All right. So ReZero today. So man, we were last left off. Yes, the trial. We are in the trial now. Um, in the sanctuary. The sanctuary. Yes, yeah, Subaru and Amelia. Uh, Subaru was able to go up into the trial because Ikki Dona had blessed them with the with the with the ability to pass the. I mean to to get interest into the trial so in this right now what's going on we are in subaru's room yeah his oh his room back in back in back in where he's from yeah back in japan where he's from before he got isekai uh yeah you see his otaku like room we got like his little white hair girl figures everywhere uh and we also see his swole and i mean buff as fuck dad like body slam him you know so it's i just like holy shit so we can see his mom too uh, so yeah, it's all part of the trial. So it's, it's all about facing his past self. We're going to see what that's all about. So, uh, yeah, the uncut reaction be in the description below. Y'all know how we do this. Let's go ahead and get into this. That's how it looks. Okay. Without further ado, the video will be played right here in this corner. This is ReZero Season 2, Episode 4, right now. Man, his dad is so ripped. Yeah, he ain't winning it. Oh my! A figure four? Ooh, reverse figure four. <laughs> oh, Look at Mama Subaru. <laughs> oh yeah, boy, eat them peas, boy. <laughs> Look at his face. Yeah, eat them peas, boy. Gotta, gotta grow. Like, so much like him. Okay, <laughs> Look at his dad. That always, that always happens. Oh, here we go. All right, yeah, we're about to start this now for real. What's about to happen? Nothing yet. Look at my man's posters in the bag. Father son subject. It seems like they don't have, they don't have like such a, a bad relationship. Pride and joy. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> He's trying to fuck with him. Peace day. Where's <laughs> 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 what are these pulses? Is it something he's doing wrong? Oh. It's her. Oh, this episode. Oh, look at the look on his face. I'll get to look at Subaru back in middle school. In middle school. Even if it was doing the wrong thing. Demo, and then nobody else was around. That's like kind of like a little, like a little mirror of how he felt in the Isekai world. You know, realizing he's not special. Almost similar in a way. Nah, they're just looking at him. そんな時ふと思ったんだ。ただ学校行きたくねえなってさ。その後はずるずる言った。週一のサボりが三日に一回になって、二日に一回になって、完全に学校に足が向かなくなるのに三ヶ月も変わらなかったな。でも。They're not like your regular stereotypical parents. That's crazy. They weren't they weren't gonna say any of that. Oh, that sounds familiar. Even though it doesn't suit you. Oh, oh real. Miss you so much. From zero. Oh! Almost had me, man. Oh. See. Oh. Oh, no. Probably won't never get a chance to. Oh, come on. Oh my god. 
Yes, yes. Oh, my God. They really are. Expectations. That word. Can just be Subaru. Yeah, just be yourself. Half your dad, half yourself. In your own way. Yes, yes. I love that. Hell yeah. The lesson. She can see through it. She can see right through it. Mom knows her child. Oh man, ain't nothing wrong with crying. I almost had me, man. That's how it ends. Like a last goodbye. Oh, I remember this. We all remember this. And that's what she said before he left. Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh my god, I almost had him. Oh Ekidona? In a school uniform? Parent and child. Alright guys, there you have it. That was Season 2, Episode 4 of ReZero. Alright, so I really, really love this episode. This episode was so real. So real and so authentic to how, you know, the real world is, you know? And it really gave Subaru... I, I've, I've gotten so much more respect for Subaru now, man. So much more respect after this episode. It's just how... Y'all really gravitate to how, how real his character is. And I just... I love authentic to real life characters in anime replicated in anime and that's what subaru is i really respect that that's crazy so yeah from the beginning you know we see his dad and his mom his dad kenichi yeah and his mom i, th uh, I don't think they said her name so i just call her mama subaru uh yeah they're not like your stereotypical family or your stereotypical parents uh now in nowadays world you know they're not like that they're, they're pretty they're pretty different from like how they eat from the foods they eat in the morning to uh, everything how they handle subaru and that's the main thing so yeah uh so those pulses that i was getting i may be maybe thinking a little bit too much into it but i was thinking that, that those pulses was more of like a warning kind of pulse because uh because it seemed like it was every time when subaru it felt like subaru was about to start back how he usually would be you know his normal routine it would just give him like a pulse I got like a bit of a warning, like for example, when he was uh going to just wait past eight o'clock and then sleep till noon. That's what he was going to do. Uh, right when right when you know he was he was going to be starting that, it gave him a pulse. And uh, yeah, I feel like that was a kind of a warning pulse. If y'all if, if it's different, y'all can let me know. But uh, yeah, that's how I feel about that. Now, uh, I couldn't believe that this episode actually touched on his uh, middle school and high school days, you know? That, is, that, that was really crazy. So, uh, it seemed like he was always trying to be like his dad, you know? 
you know, because they always got, because y'all, because people always told him, oh yeah, yeah, you're definitely his kid. Yeah, you're definitely his kid, Kenichi's kid. Uh, you know, he always got that. But you know, he said he always used to, he used to just squeak by with everything, with sports, grades, everything, school. You know, just, uh, sometimes you uh, not even really necessarily try to try hard at it. But yeah, and I always used to just one one up himself. Uh, for, for in front of other folk, like you know, in front of uh, I guess you say associates. Yeah, you always feel like he got to do something better than he did before. It, it was, it up, which ends up, which ends up with him doing a bunch of stupid stuff. Um, you know, just as a kid, you know, he got the, he said he got the high school, you know, flubbed up his debut and just yeah, just eventually just realized that hey, you know, I'm not so special kind of thing. And that right there, when he said he's not so special, it reminded me. Of how season one was when he was when he was saying when he came to realize that he wasn't you know specially he wasn't specially chosen to go to this to go to that new world he just nothing special just a Subaru you know without any kind of powers or nothing which not necessarily is a bad thing but it just come to the realization of that and you know a lot of people he can easily give up but you know he always got that supporting cast behind him and with Emilia Rim you know and when Rim popped into the episode. Uh, for that right there, start from zero. Hell, it really touched me. Like, um, it um, like this episode almost had me a couple times, man. Oh my god, from that, from that part right there, and especially when um his mom, him, uh, Subaru and his mom said goodbye to each other when she said when they said take when she said take care, <laughs> man. Cause that right there, that was the she said take care to him right before he left to the convenience store, uh, in the first episode, man, before he ended up there. Oh, it really just had me, like you know, and just he because he he couldn't tell him, but he he, he tried, but he, he couldn't just tell him everything like how how we would want him to tell him. But it's like the parents, the parent, the parents know best. The parents do know best. They know they they know their child more than anything, and yeah, and that's the thing. I loved how non stereotypical his parents was because you know when he was when when Subaru was missing school, usually the parents would just kick you out, kick you out. You know, make you feel like shit for not for not you know for disobeying them or being just being that way, not going to school. But no, not not their parents. They're just like, oh, okay, you know, don't necessarily don't necessarily you not 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 necessarily agree with you on that. But you know, they they don't just throw him throw him away like how like how normal like how normal parents nowadays would. And I love that. Just love how authentic this family is. And I love how authentic Subaru's character is, man. And uh, yeah, and at the end of it all, Ikidona was in it was in the classroom. So I, I guess she monitors. She is monitoring over Subaru or something like that, looking looking over him, uh, checking up on him. Yeah. And I wonder how Emilia's trial is going on too. So we will see. So thank y'all for watching. Uh, what y'all thought about that? If you'd like to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'm sure to see you all in my next one. Sayonara.